Hi, I'm Ron Radziner. I'm design partner at Marmo Radziner Architects, and this is my own home. And the whole goal of the space is to really connect you back to the natural environment. There's lots to see inside. Follow me into the great room. I've always been interested in very earthy, modern homes. And in this home, I tried to push that as far as I could with the very dark interiors, feeling like it would really draw your eye out to the brightness of the garden. So the walls in this room are predominantly made up of this Danish brick. The weight of it sort of grounds you back to the earth, which is important as well. So thinking about the floor, it's a fumed oak floor. And it's not only on the floor, but it's on the ceiling as well. To the right of the entry is the sitting area. For me, it's a little bit primitive, like almost like we're in our cave with the fireplace providing warmth. From the sitting area, it's easy to head over to the dining area and continue on with daily life. The dining table was something I designed. It's about 12 feet long. It's made of a burled walnut. Where these slots are is where the legs of the table sort of thematically fold down to hold up the table. And of course, near the dining room table is the kitchen. I love how, if you look up, created this large, long skylight that brings daylight into this corner of the room and keeps the whole space light rather than having kind of a dark corner of the kitchen. Downstairs is about socializing, entertaining. Upstairs is a bit more of our family private space. Let's go up there and take a look. Once you get to the top of the stairs, you come into our family room. We chose to do these bookshelves and just have the high windows so that you can't see the street. As you notice, we actually cut the house around this tree to make sure that the tree would survive and we didn't have to disturb it at all. It just creates a real sense of beauty and oneness with the landscape. And continuing that connection with nature that this house is all about, let me take you into the primary bedroom. My goal with this space was again to create an intimate, darker, warm space where your eyes just focus right out to the trees and the garden. And then there's this wonderful patio and you feel like you're in a bit of a tree house when you're up here. Although I love this bedroom, my favorite space upstairs is the bathroom. This isn't the most traditional bathroom. and You can almost feel like you're outdoors as you get ready in the morning. The tub is especially unique. It's sunken down. It has connection with glass on both ends to the garden. It feels to me almost as if you could be bathing in a pond. I love that the space is private, and yet it's actually incredibly connected to the backyard. And we'll go check that out right now. When I come outside, I immediately feel connected to this canyon. It's always nature at its best for me. The great room faces out to this deck space, and then the pool is about 65 feet long. It's protected from the afternoon sun, but then on the other side, it gets the afternoon sun. I hope you've enjoyed the tour, the property, the architecture. I look forward to uh, seeing you again at the next house. Well, that was so much fun, but the fun doesn't have to end here. Like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for the best open house has to offer.